All right, this is a little video on uh, how to bleed your uh, clutch on a uh, T56. This is on a 95 Trans Am. Uh, this is really the only way you could you could bleed it. That's you know the fastest way and the most efficient way. So mighty vac. And you just uh, get that tip there, stick it on there, and you stick it inside the hole that's in there. And uh, you just start start pumping. And uh, I've already done this before, so a lot of the bigger bubbles have already come out. But what I really had to do was while I was pumping, have someone inside the car pumping the clutch pedal while I was doing this, and that really seemed to help get a lot of the air out. And another thing that I would do, instead of releasing this for the fluid to go back in, I'll just pull this out really quick. That way you don't have to worry about the little fine air bubbles that were in the line going back into the uh, master uh, cylinder. So I went ahead and uh, pumped the pedal a little bit and you can see there's some really fine bubbles coming out. Uh, when I first did it, I was getting a lot of you know, really big bubbles that were coming out of there. But there's still a lot, a lot of fine ones, little ones in there. And this is probably the third, the third time that I've done it. Uh, I didn't really need to be done again, but just for the video, did it again but yeah this is the best way to do it mighty vac you can get it at a auto zone or riley's harbor freight so uh yeah let me know if that worked out for you guys it's on a, a t56 trans is a 95 trans m they work on a camaro basically any t56 because there's no there's no bleeder valves on these things so and uh I did the master cylinder and the safe cylinder. I let the uh, master cylinder gravity bleed for a little bit. That way there wasn't so much air in there. And uh, hooked it up and started pumping away and it worked out, it works good. The gear's going smooth as hell. Better than they did before. So uh, yeah, let me know if that worked for you guys. Thanks. Another thing. You can you can just let it sit there with the uh, suction with vacuum on it, and it'll it's still pulling the bubbles out. And uh, you can probably let it sit there until you're not seeing any more bubbles. And like I said, when you go to let the fluid back in, instead of hitting the release, I like to just top it off and then pull this out really fast. That way you don't have to worry about those traveling back inside the uh, reservoir. And you know you're basically just putting it, moving air in and out if you if you do that. So. Just take it out, and you don't have to worry about those bubbles going back inside. Just want to show you how much easier the uh, the gears go in, how easy they go in. Before it was like, that's reverse, but it was really hard to put it in first when I was stopped, I'd have to mess around with it. Now just, they just slide right in. So reverse was a pain in the ass too, and now just, so that, that really works good. So uh, if you ever have to uh, bleed your clutch, go ahead and give that a try. If you have any questions, let me know. I can uh, try to help you out. Thanks.